Hi there, welcome to my views and news, two new stories. Firstly, Ogaden National Liberation Front is going to start an extraordinary meeting of its party, its main leadership. ONLF, which could be one of the key players in case of any instability in the Somali region of Ethiopia, intends to make some big decisions this week, it seems. Secondly, Ethiopian National Dialogue Commission is ready to talk to Ethiopian armed groups abroad. Masfin Araya broke this news. Who will National Dialogue Commission talk to in a foreign country? Will the talks be held between the Commission and Ola, Commission and Fano, or some other groups and the Commission? Let's start uh, with the first news stories about ONLF, Ogaden National Liberation Fund, armed group. Fighting for an Ogaden state, fighting for the right of self determination for the people of Ogaden, lay down arms in 2018. It fought for several years. It fought uh, against EPRDF government. Uh, and it remained under crackdown by both the countries. Ethiopia and Somalia. Somalia also tried to crush ONLF in the past. Why? Because ONLF wants an Ogaden state. For Ogaden state, it wants Ogaden region to be an independent state. Ogaden region uh, from Ethiopia, Somalia, and other countries. ONLF signed a peace deal with the Ethiopian government of Yemen in 2018. It laid down arms, it turned into a political party. OLF also signed a peace deal, but it split. OLA continued arms struggle. OLF chose the path of a, a political struggle, but even OLF also came under the same crackdown as Ola has been by the open government. OLF has not been allowed to carry out its uh, political activities in Ethiopia. ONLF remained silent, I would say, during the two-year-long war in Tigray to Now, suddenly ONLF has become active. It wants to re-evaluate the peace deal which it signed in 2018 with PMRP's government. Will it withdraw from the peace deal? If it withdraws, what does it mean? Does it mean that it will take up arms? It will resume its armed struggle against the federal government, prosperity party government of Ethiopia, the origin of Ethiopia? We know, but ONLF is going to hold a high level meeting this week. In this meeting, key decisions will be made, including the reassessment of the peace deal signed in 2018. By the way, main ONLF leaders are based abroad. Abdurrahman Mahdi, the chairman, generally remains out of Ethiopia. He stays out of Ethiopia. Abdi Karim Musse Kalbi, the senior leader, is mainly based in Mogadishu, Somalia. Another main leader, Abdi Kadir, is based almost permanently in Nairobi, Kenya. Almost all major ONLF leaders are based abroad. Where will they meet? Not in Ethiopia, I think. They'll meet abroad. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll keep you updated about some big decisions.
likely to be made by the ONLF in coming days. Is ONF, ONLF really considering withdrawal from the peace deal? Is it just using the current security situation in my region as a pressure tactic on the federal government of Ethiopia so that it can gain some uh, relaxation because it has not been allowed to work freely as a party in the small region of Ethiopia. ONLF uh, recently issued some very strong statements. It withdrew from national dialogue. It demanded clarification from Brahan or Jula when Jula accused ONLF of having been created and funded by Egypt. It accused Prosperity Party, government of Somali region, of uh, trying to change the flag and it accused Prosperity Party of forcing Somali elders to abandon their Somali identity in favor of, in support of Ethiopian identity. ONLF has been issuing strong statements. If Ethiopia Somalia tensions escalate and tensions turn into armed conflict, ONLF would play a big role. Somalia would like it to be on its side. Ethiopia would not let ONLF to organize its people in the Somali region of Ethiopia. That is why this meeting is crucial. We will see what happens. Where will these ONLF leaders meet? What will they decide? If you are from ONLF or if you have information from inside about the ONLF, do get in touch with me. I think we should cover the meetings of ONLF very closely. We should uh, try to understand what this organization is up to. What is going to be the next step taken by this organization in Ethiopia? It's, it's a party now in Ethiopia. Secondly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian National Dialogue Commission is ready to talk to Ethiopian armed groups abroad. Mesfin Araya is the chief of the Ethiopian insignificant toothless national dialogue commission formed around a year ago more than a year ago it has delivered nothing so far the commission seems to be working for uh, conducting national dialogue so that a consensus could be created for changes for amendments uh, to constitution etc in Ethiopia Mesfin Araya says that uh, his commission is willing to talk to Ethiopian armed groups abroad. And uh, the armed groups, uh, he offered to talk to armed groups in Ethiopia too, but the armed groups did not agree to meet with this commission. I am not aware of any meeting between Ola and this commission, Fano and this commission, etc. The commission failed to build a level of trust conducive to talks between the commission and armed groups. It is offering armed groups to meet the commission in a foreign country. Where? Name of country not disclosed by Master Raya, but he's ready to meet with Fano, with Ola abroad. Ola has already held talks with government in Tanzania. Both rounds failed. Fano is not interested in talks with the government. So, who will commission talk to? The commission members will just travel to foreign country, to Tanzania, Zanzibar, uh, location known for international tourists. I heard Zanzibar is a good place to visit, by the way. Uh, and uh, maybe some elements from the Amhara region of Romia will arrive there to talk to these uh, National Law Commission commissioners to talks. No genuine talks can be held between this commission which has no real authority and the Ethiopian armed groups. The commission is only prolonging its stay. It achieved nothing. It only wants to tell the people that it is doing a lot. It is trying to talk to the groups to resolve conflicts in Ethiopia. 
it would be a waste of public money uh, to back this commission to start talks with any element abroad, any Ethiopian element abroad. Thank you for watching.